Okay, today uh, I'm, we're looking at DraftSight, the free uh, CAD drawing program that you can download. I take a look at my channel from a week or two ago and you'll see how I downloaded it and you can install it and it's all free. So let's, let's do some symbols and maybe a little short drawing. Uh, I want to do some electronic symbols. So we'll do transistor, diode, resistor, and save them as a uh, library part and then pull them back in in order to create a drawing. So let's start with a line for our, for our transistor. I'm going to make an NPN BJT bipolar junction transistor and since this is electronic we're not too worried about dimensions or exact angles or anything like that so that looks good for that angle and I'm going to right click in that line okay and I want this this uh, vertical bar to be a lot fatter so I want a polyline and again you'll notice that a lot of these uh, commands and menus are very much like AutoCAD so if you're familiar with AutoCAD uh, a lot of this will be familiar to you if you're not I'm, I'm going to still explain what I'm doing so let's go with a polyline I call it a key line or polyline and with uh, with E track and E snap on down here, I can what I can do is I can snap to that, and then when I go up, let's do that again. Well, it's not cooperating. There we go. Uh, so I'm going to line up, if you see my crossbar, it's about the top of that angle. I'm going to put my line there and start the P line right there. And then uh, if you look down at the bottom, I'm going to type a W for setting the width of this polyline. And I want it to be 0.125. Wide, I hit enter, and the end width just default 0.125. Just hit enter again, and we'll make it about that long. Let's right. I'm going to hit enter. Oh yeah, nice fat vertical line. And to get that down here, we'll just mirror it. So you click over here to mirror, click it, select both of these lines, and right click. And then I'm going to snap to the midpoint of my big fat bar line and and then use E track to get it perfectly horizontal and then click and hit enter. And the default is no. It says confirm delete source entities. The default is no. So I'm going to hit enter. The default don't don't delete the uh, source entity. And now we've sort of got an NPN BJT uh, symbol, but we need a little arrow right here in order for it to be an NPN. So to do that, we'll do a polyline again, and we'll start right at this endpoint. And I want to set the width again, so I'm going to type W. And I want the start width to be zero. And the end width to be uh, 0.6. I'm going to go with 0.5. Enter. And then I'm going to go over here and select midpoint right here. And click. Okay, well that's 
that's really way too fat, right? So I'm going to hit Control Z, hold the Control key, hit Z, and that undoes that. And I'm going to change the width. Start with zero, and it's already on that for default. The end width, I guess I want to be about 0.25. And let's select the midpoint of this line again. Enter, and enter. Oops, what, what happened there? Control Z. Uh, something, something messed up. I'm going to just do the whole thing again. So let's select polyline, select the end of that, uh, change the width, and I want the zero for the start width, and I want 0.25 for the end width, enter, and the midpoint to be the end of that line. Okay, that, that looks good. Got our little arrow, little fat bar in our arrow. Now we have an NPN symbol. So uh, let's save this in a library so that we can just pull it up later. Uh, oh yeah, I need a I need a base line here, so I'm going to add add a line. I'm going to go ahead and hit, hit enter. Uh, okay. Add a line from the midpoint of there to mm, approximately. There. Hit enter. We're done. So now we have a complete NPN symbol, and we'll we'll uh, W block this. W block means write a block to a file, and that way you'll you'll have that in your library. So let's just try type W block. Down at the bottom, hit enter, and it wants to uh, go with the selected entity, and I'm going to select the entity uh, right here, specify entity, and just put a block around that, put a window around it. Right click. That's all I want. And then the insertion point, I want to be on the base. So I'm going to click that and go over here to the base. And it selected that exact point. So, so now when you insert it, it's going to insert it from there. And I want to call this, here's the file name and path down here, I want to call this npn, uh, like to use all caps on that, and it doesn't show you, but it's saving it as a drawing, and I'm going to say OK, and it's going to tell me there's already an npn drawing there, which I have already made one, but I'm going to say yes. I like this new one better, so I'm going to say yes. Replace, replace that drawing. Overwrite it. Yes. Okay. Um, so just to keep everything going, we'll just continue using. I'm going to delete this transistor that I created, and we'll go ahead and create a diode. Uh, we can start with a line. And make it, uh, you know, about that long. Hit enter. That's all we want. And we want another polyline to start from the end of that. And we want the width of that polyline, its starting width, to be about, so oh, let's say, point three. Point three seven five. That's three eighths of an inch. I'll hit five here sooner or later. Five. That's three eighths of an inch. So 
modify that. And the ending width, we want it to be zero. So we're going to create a little triangle here. And let's try there. Okay. So it kind of made more of a elongated arrow. So we can fix that. And I'm just going to zoom in a little here and select that. Come on. And then I'm going to click right on the end there. And it's going to allow me to resize that. And I'd say that looks more like a triangle. If I had just said the length was 0.375, that, no, that wouldn't have done it either. Okay, so there's my little triangle part of my diode. And now let's do another polyline. And let's use our E snap E track and snap to there and then go up. And when my crossbar is about even with the left point, and I can zoom out here and, and capture that a little bit better. So I want my crossbar to be right at the point of that top of that triangle. So I'm going to click there. And now we want to change the width again. So the width, I uh, think I want 0.1 and default on 0.1. And then we want to go down here until we're about even with the lower point on the triangle. I'm going to click there. And that looks good. That's a little fat. We can change that. Let's change it. Let's go property. And <clears throat> So we want to find the width, the the end, the start segment and the end segment. Uh, if you go global, it will just change it all to the same. So what I want to do is I want to go point zero. Two five. That's a sixteenth of an inch for those uninitiated. Okay. Uh, that looks better. Yeah. That looks much better. So, okay. So let's uh, get rid of our properties window. And let's, uh, ah, that looks a little bit long, so I'm going to shorten that up to about right there. And then I'm going to copy it with a reference point. AutoCAD says base point, same thing. But I'm going to use this end, and then I'm going to paste it right on the end point of Get it in point. Paste. End point. And now we have a diode symbol. And let's let's W block this. Select it all first. W block. And we'll save it as a diode right here. We'll save it as diode dot drawing. Same folder. And I want to select the insertion point right there on the end point. And we're good to go. Okay. And yes, I want to replace it. And okay, so let's get rid of that in here. We'll bring those all again in later. And now let's create 
uh, resistor. So first I'm going to do a little vertical line here and enter. And I think I want the, the zigzags of my um, my resistor to be fat also. So I think I'll use a polyline in there. So I'm going to go polyline and uh, that I want the width to be uh, about the same as our other one point zero six two five. Three five two five. Enter and enter. So let's click there. And oh, that's 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 a little bit much. I'm going to change the properties on that. So let's change the properties on the global width to. Point oh four sounds good. Oh, yeah, that looks much better. So close that and state until that's not selected. And now, um to get the next angle of my resistor, let's just mirror that one. Mirror that. Right click will enter. And now I want to mirror it on this line. And use my, my uh, e track and bang. Click enter. And now let's do that again, do a mirror, and let's select both of these lines. Now could create a little diamond here. And right click. And the center point, of course, is our main line. And we'll snap on E track. Hit enter. And now let's just move V from there to there. And let's copy these to finish our resistance. And I better get that one. Uh, copy with a reference point, that reference point, and then paste right there. And now we're all done. Uh, and you notice how it has these funky little things in here. So let's let's select all of these and just use poly edit or p edit. See if that works. And let's join J. If you look at there down at the bottom has an option for join. So J and enter. Now they're all one entity and Why did they not join? Try that again. E edit. Oh, I must have done something wrong. Um, J for join. Enter. Well, I already specified this. That's okay. Seven found. Okay. And enter. There we go. Oops. I'm going to have to say Control Z because I missed that one. Okay, so let's. For some reason, it doesn't automatically use the selected one. So I'm going to say P Edit again and select Polyline, that one. And okay.
get better for PI. And I'm going to click multiple. All right. All right, that's it. And now join. Enter. Specify gap tolerance. Enter. And enter. And there we go. A nice little zigzaggy uh, resistor symbol. So let's select this and copy. So, yeah, do this again, folks. Sorry. So let's copy with reference point that one and paste to right there. There we go. There's our resistor symbol. And we'll select all of it. W block. And we want the name of this to be resistor R E S I S T O R and I want the insertion point to be uh six to one half a dozen top bottom I'll go with the top and Let's say OK. It's going to warn me I already have one. No, yeah, I want to override it. I like this one better. Yes. OK. So I'm just going to delete this. And now we can do a little eh, simple little drawing here. It's going to be meaningless. But uh, basically, it'll show how to uh, insert these into the drawing. That's going to be my V plus line. And let's go with a simple note right here. So there. And hit enter. And let's go V plus. And that's a little bit large. So I'm going to hit. By X style. Okay, let's um, normal height spacing. Okay, spacing one it has a zero 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 height. So let's go with uh, 0.125 byte. I don't know what it was referencing, the pi and the k. So now let's just uh, let's see what that does. This is, it's been a long time since I've used, it, used this software, so I don't remember. So let's go there. Ah, that looks good. V plus plus. This one plus is good. Oh, come on. I'm going to go control Y. Control Y. No, I shouldn't have hit escape. So, here. Here, V, plus, and, 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 I'm all done with that. So, okay. Okay, I got it. Let's select that and let's move it up closer to that line. Oh. Mm. 
Yeah, about like that. Okay, now let's insert some transistors and stuff. So let's go insert block and let's select NPN open. Okay. And so that's a little bit large, so let's scale that. Scale, you type scale, and you specify the base point. And I'm just going to select there, and I'm just going to make it look right in that picture. There, that's good. And now let's grab it and move it up to there. Alright, and let's put our resistor right up here. Insert the resistor. Um, browse. Get our resistor open. Okay. And it's large also, so let's select it and type scale and base point that and just kind of eyeballing it to make it look right in the picture. There looks good. And let's grab it and move it. And Escape. Now let's right click on it and go uh, yep, sec select it and go move and want to move it from there to there. And now to keep from having to scale it and all that, let's just copy that. Copy the reference point. That's fine. So now let's paste there and select it, rotate it. And we want that to be snapping to 90 degrees. That's perfect. And now we just move it. Um, there, to there, and now we have a little resistor, and we probably need a diode. So since we made a diode, let's go ahead and insert our diode. There's our diode that we made, and. Let's do that to say OK. And we want to, yeah, you notice before when I inserted, it inserted to be at zero, 00. When I said specify later, it just gives me a handle to drag it around and put it where I want. So right there is good. And I'm going to change the scale on it too. Scale. And let's just hit there. And oh, that looks good in the scheme of things. And let's select it and move it. Right there to right there. And of course, now we need a V minus and we need to connect this to that line. So let's just move that up just a little bit. Select, uh, put a window around all that and move from right there to right there. And let's put a line connecting from here 
and we want it to be straight up, perpendicular, bang, and hit enter to stop the line. And so, okay, we want a V minus, so let's just select this again and that and mirror it. So let's click mirror and oh, approximately right there. And I want to hit my E track, E snap, get it uh, parallel and click, hit enter. And we're done. Now all we have to do is edit this to make it V minus. And then click out of it and we're done. Hit escape. And we want a one more line from right to oops. Wait. Was not quite on that. From there, point right there, perpendicular, hit enter. And, uh, you know, sometimes you want to put little dots for terminal. And with AutoCAD, you type donut. So let's just type donut. And I can tell you that in DraftSide, it's called a ring. But guess what? It recognizes donut. Cool, huh? So let's, uh, this inside diameter, we want it to be zero. We don't want an actual hole in the middle. So let's say zero. Then the outside diameter, I'm going to guess about 0 0.05 for the outside diameter. And, and the cool thing about Donut is it does multiples all the time. So let's Click there. Yeah, that looks good. 0.05 is perfect. And let's put one there. And we're done. I'm just going to hit enter. So we have our terminal dot on there. Our resistors. And transistor and a diode. Plus the D plus and D minus. So we've done our little drawing and made our symbols, saved them as blocks, made a new drawing, inserted our symbols from our library that we created, and created a little drawing. I'll be doing uh, other uh, tutorials on this related to mechanical as well so that the dimensions are exact and you know it'll have uh, real shapes etc that are perfectly dimensioned but you know this is just kind of one of the things that I do on a regular basis and I just call it doing everyday things so I'm glad you watched the video you keep doing everyday things, and we'll see you next time.